I'm Sarah Fisher. This is for Humanities 210-D01. Vincent Van Gogh is a very well-known artist. One of the most sought-after and repl replicated painting he created is Starry Night. To understand why he created this painting, along with his other works, you must under look at the background of the artist. He was born in Guru Zundert, Holland in 1853. Um, his father was Theodorus Van Gogh. He was a preacher and gave Vincent Van Gogh his religious atmosphere. Anna Cordelia Carbentas was his mother. Van Gogh had an older brother who died at birth. His name was also Vincent Van Gogh. Theo Van Gogh was Vincent's younger brother. He was his closest friend. Even though Vincent was hard to understand, they shared over 800 letters writing back and forth. Theo was a successful art dealer and a manager of Goupel's Gallery in Paris. He financially supported Vincent so he could devote his entire life to painting. Vincent Van Gogh lacked self-esteem and was highly emotional. He suffered from temporal lobe epilepsy as well as other mental and physical conditions. He undermined his health because he would stay up, he would paint all day and have discussions with people all night. He was an unsuccessful clerk in a bookstore, art salesman, and a preacher. He was a preacher in a dreary mining district in Belgium. He was let go for his overzealousness. After being let go, he remained in Belgium, determined to give people beauty with his art. In 1886, he, was jo he joined his brother in Paris. There he met Camille Pizarro, Claude Monet, and Paul Gugon. Here it is where he began to lighten his very dark palette and to paint in the short brushstrokes of the Impressionists. In hopes of starting his own art school, Van Gogh moved to Arrow. Gugon followed him. In the middle of a quarrel, Van Gogh chased his friend with an open razor, but was stopped by Gugon. He ended up cutting off a portion of his own ear. Many thought it was his whole ear, but it was just a small portion. He then gave this piece to a pr prostitute friend. This was only the start of Vincent Van Gogh's bit. He was never married. In 1881, he stated his love to his widowed cousin, he bought. She rejected him. He then moved in with Sign Hornick, a prostitute, and her children. He considered marrying her, but his father and brother were very against it. They later, later separated. He was between madness and lucidity. For treatments, he was sent to the asylum in Saint Remy. While there, Van Gogh did most of his painting. Uh, did his most famous piece of art, Starry Night. Starry Night is an oil on canvas. It was made in 1889. He painted it during the day only for memory. It is now at the mu Museum of Modern Art in New York, and I also have a picture of it behind me. I got this for $5 at a yard sale, and it was the first thing I hung up in my apartment. In May 1890, he appeared to be doing much better and went to live in Erverse sur Ois under the attentive eye of Dr. Gatchet. In July, only two months after being released, he shot himself in a wheat field in Air France, but did not die until two days later, at the age of 37. He did it for the good of all. Theo died six months after him and is buried next to him in Avers, France. Theo's wife, Joanna, collected Vincent's paintings and letters after his death and dedicated her life to getting his work rec the recognition it deserved. He only sold one painting in his short life, Red Vineyard at Arrow. It is now in at the Pushkin Museum in Moscow. More than 900 paintings were not sold or famous until after his death. Van Gogh made all the paintings in just 10 short years. In conclusion, even though Vincent Van Gogh only sold one painting in his life, he'll be remembered forever and live on through his paintings. Thank you.